Hi, Brendan here with Trimble Forensics, and today we're going to show you how to set up and use the R4 SLE solution. So first I'm going to set down my equipment, and I'm going to unzip this yellow bag here. Now inside is going to be your 2 meter pole sectioned in half with a bipod attachment. So we're going to take out that bottom piece. You can tell it's the bottom because you've got your spike on the bottom here. And we'll unattach these legs. Set that bottom spike down, next on the legs, make sure it's nice and sturdy. And then come back and screw in our top pole. Now I like to make sure that this level bubble is a little bit off to the side so that I can read it and level it all at the same time. And then next what we'll do is we'll unzip this black bag here. And inside the black bag, you're gonna find an R4 SLE, which is this white and yellow receiver. You're gonna find a TDC 600 or your choice of controller. You're also gonna find a pole mount and then a charger for the batteries for the R4. So right now what we need is the R4 SLE. And we'll undo this battery door right here and just make sure that we have a battery attached. And then we'll line up these two metal pins with the two contacts on the R4 and snap that right back in. And then to turn it on, we're gonna hold this red button down until you see a red power LED button. Once you see that, then you can screw it on right up top here. Go until it's nice and tight. And then I like to kind of extend the legs out a little bit further as you got a little bit more weight on top. Next, what we're gonna do is attach our, our, our uh, TDC 600 to our pole. Making sure to put that pole mount right into this clamp zone here that we've got kind of in the middle of our two meter pole setup. Tighten that down and connect our TDC 600. Make sure that's nice and tight. So we've set up all of our hardware. Now we're gonna start working on the software. So we're gonna open up our TDC 600 and open up our capture software, which is our field software, which is gonna control the R4. And we're gonna click here on the bottom where it says new. And we're gonna enter a name, a name for our scene. We'll name it Westminster. And for our point code library, we're gonna choose crash. Now we have three options, crash, CSI, and reveal. Uh, crash is gonna have most of our point codes. Um, and then if you've already set up a new point code, you can choose that one as well. Hit our next, and for input methods, we have a tape measure option, a GNSS option, and a total station option. For this, we're gonna be using the GNSS option. And now we can configure our GNSS, our R4, and we can click change. Now for the R4, you need an N-trip connection and an internet connection. For the internet connection, I'm just running a hotspot off of my cell phone and connected it to the TDC 600. And for N-trip connection, you'll get that either from your Lieutenant Sarge or from a local dealer. Now we wanna to connect to our R4 via Bluetooth. And for Ntrip server, you'll enter those credentials in. So we can hit new here. And that beep means it's connected. It's uh, the Bluetooth connection from the TDC 600 is connected to the R4. And we can name this our Ntrip connection. And we'll type in our credentials here. and then we'll hit download and trip table. And then once that's downloaded, uh, we'll change this to CMRX and we can test the configuration. And if you get this page, that means you're all good. We can go back and save that. And then we'll hit this forward arrow to continue on. Now it's gonna ask us for the height of the pole. Um, for the R4, it's 
usually just a standard two meter pole. Um, you can measure it. And then it'll ask us for our initial starting point. Um, so when we're setting up capture, we're gonna set up three GCPs, three ground control points. Um, you're gonna set one, then the next, and the next. It's gonna ask you for an RTK fixed position, and you're going to set the GNSS receiver down, level it, and then wait 10 seconds, and capture will take a point at that position. So for our first position, we'll move the R4 around. level our pole and now you can see that it's going to take an average over a 10 second period so we'll wait our quality is good and when you hear that gunshot that means that it's taken a point now for our next control point we'll do the same thing and so these three ground control points are going to be three points around the exterior of your scene so that you can reference everything inside of your scene based on those three ground control points. And then for our third ground control point, And it'll again, it'll go through that same 10 second process. And now you'll see a complete setup. So now your scene is all set up and you can start taking measurements like your lane lines, your skid marks, you can start capturing your debris field all within capture. So to give you a quick example of how to do that, we'll change this over from control point and because we want to get a fourth control point, And then again, each control point you're gonna take, it's gonna ask for that 10 second average. And now we can change our point code to something else and we'll take a single shot. Say we wanna take a shot of some debris. And this is where the speed of the R4 really comes into play, is if I've got some debris inside of my control points, then I can set the level and just hit that shot and it'll take a shot. So only your control points are, is what's gonna take that 10 seconds to capture. So I've got some more debris over here. Get it nice and level and hit your shot. Now you can also take line measurements. So we can change our code to DYL, which stands for double yellow, and we'll take this line button, hit the check mark there, and so if I want to take a measurement of a line, I'll go from the start of my line, take a point, and I'll move down my line. and we'll take another point. And as you can see, it will automatically connect those two lines, or those two points. So now I've collected all my data and I want to close the scene. So we're gonna hit this hamburger menu up here and there's a close scene option. And we'll close the scene. And then when we want to export it, we can hit these little three buttons and on the bottom there's an export option and that's the dot capture file that we're gonna bring straight into Reveal. And once that's done exporting, we can email it to ourselves, we can save it to a Google Drive, or you can send it via Android Beam via uh, NFC. And that is how you use the R4 SLE.